Okay, so we've talked about uh, large mech legs, uh, different proportions, weight bearing issues, foot strength, and so on. What I'm going to talk about in this video and the next video are building legs for medium sized mechs. So if you follow me on Instagram or Flickr, you'll recognize this as the leg for the Archon Beta, which was uh, kind of a drone companion to the main Archon there. And my goal with uh, this design was to um, use the simplest leg frame possible while still maintaining a high level of detail on the plating, um, making it look as similar to the main Archon as possible, and also um, have a ton of uh, articulation, which it does. So what I'm going to do today is show you this design and talk about some of its limitations. And then on the next video, uh, I'm going to show how to do something similar, but using uh, my favorite part, which is the uh, Technic rotation disc. So here you can see the assembled skeleton. Again, I wanted to use the simplest parts possible for this while still maintaining a lot of uh, freedom with plating it up. So really what I'm using here are standard Technic rotation joints and uh, ball joints and receptacles and some other common parts and lots of brackets on this one to get uh, all the side plating in. Now, uh, one thing I'll show on the next video again is the thing I don't like about standard joints is you're limited to a 90 degree maximum angle. Whereas if you use a rotation joint, you can really get in some nice uh, deep knee articulation. So I'll show that on the next one. But again, this is a uh, simple build. It's strong, easy to plate, and uh, I'll show how it comes together. So one thing I realized when I was building this, uh, this frame was that these brackets here, uh, the four long and one tall, actually come in three different varieties. There is the um, straight edge, where uh, all four corners are straight. There's the rounded bottoms, and then there's the rounded tops and bottoms. In practice, uh, these probably don't matter, so um, when you're buying them on BrickLink, just keep in mind uh, to look for the different varieties if the store you're looking at doesn't have uh, it doesn't seem to have all of them uh, if you're searching by part number because it may actually have one of the other varieties which will serve you just fine. So uh, I'm basically going to show how this is built here because it's again not that complicated. We have the foot and this is a 2x2 two two brick with ball. We've got brackets on the front to hold some parts. And what I want uh, for the front toes is the ability to uh, articulate up and down so that if we are uh, posing this on some terrain, it can conceivably be um, gripping the terrain. So I'm using one by one round plates and one by one plates with handles. And on the front, I like to use uh, one by two plates with rails, just adds a bit of stability and a good look. And then for the uh, rear toe, I use uh, a combination of one by two rounded plates and or uh, one by one uh, round plates with an open stud. And what that lets you do is use these little gripper hands and you can poke them right through like that. And then you can attach a one by two plate with handle on it and then pop that right onto the back of a brick for a nice, um, a nice solid foot. And again, toes are important for balance, uh, front and rear, so that's the foot. So the rest of the leg is just a combination of uh, Technic rotation joints and standard uh, receptacle uh, joints here and this uh, bracketing in order to hold things together. So on the uh, tarsal metatarsus, we have two uh, brackets there. We have four on the back. In the middle, same thing, two on the top, two on the back, because we're using this, um, this double, uh, double receptacle piece right here. On the top here, we have the same kind of thing. We have a Technic rotation joint, a receptacle, and um, without any extra reinforcement, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit fragile. We just have uh, some bracketing here, uh, bracketing there, one by one plate. And then the only thing holding it together uh, at its most basic on the frame is this top bracket here. Um, and then I just use a corner plate to close it off. But as soon as you 
um, bind these brackets together uh, with a two by two plate on the side or whatever. It's, it's as strong as you're ever gonna need it to be. So that is it. It's, it's really simple. It's basic parts. Um, it's got a ton of surface area to plate on and that will get you a really nice uh, medium size uh, mech leg with good strength and you shouldn't really encounter any weight bearing issues that would uh, require this ankle to be or this foot rather to be stronger. Um, so that's it. On my next video I will be getting into something much more complicated uh, using rotation discs but uh, maintaining around the same size. Thanks very much and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.